There are three major mistakes that new CNC router owners make all the time when they first get into CNC routing. And I want to teach you in this video what those three mistakes are and how to avoid them. Let's get into mistake number one. Number one is not cleaning out the sawdust every time they change a router bit. So when you take your, your router bit off and you're gonna probably notice sawdust down here inside the collet. When the CNC router is doing its work, sawdust is getting up into the collet. We don't realize it, but that's what's happening, even if we have a really strong dust collection system. The type of sawdust that's the real problem is what's on my machine right here. You can see it's really fine sawdust and maybe shop dust as well. But this is the stuff that's real powdery and this is the stuff that actually gets up into the collet. Just with this mess, it's time to clean up my machine. But if we let that build up in there, what that's gonna do, it's gonna compress into the, the collet nut and in the collet. What happens is the sawdust will get in between the shaft of the CNC router bit and in the hole of the collet. And when you clamp down, the sawdust will act like little ball bearings on the bit itself. And that will create something called bit slip. And what bit slip is, is when the the machine is doing the carving, the router bit is slowly sliding down the collet as it's carving. And you don't notice it until your project has been ruined because the router bit has dug down too deep. For mistake number one, you always need to clean your collet every single time you change your router bit. That means pulling that nut off, pulling the collet off, eyeballing the inside of it, blow on it, and even maybe taking a brush in it. And then you can install your next CNC bit. Mistake number two is trying to get as much extension out of the router bit as possible. New creators often like to get as much extension out of the router bit as they possibly can when they're installing the bit into the collet. And so what they'll do is they'll only put about that much of the shank into the collet just like that and then they'll tighten things up. And this is asking for a couple of things. Number one is breaking your router bit. Number two, ruining your collet. Number three is actually damaging the project while it's being carved. I wanna take you over to the whiteboard to show you exactly what happens when you are trying to get as much out of that router bit as possible. This is a side image of the collet itself. And then what we're doing, or what that creator is doing, is they're putting that router bit in maybe about that far. The shaft of the collet or the shaft of the spindle is like that. When they're tightening that down with the nut, it's pulling up and since a collet is just, it's spring steel, so it's just a tad smaller in diameter than the shaft of the router bit, it is going to actually start to make that collet go like that. In other words, on this image, the whole collet as it's being drawn up will turn like that. And what ends up happening is number one, all the force goes right into that little corner of the router bit and it starts to dig into the collet. The second thing is, is because your, your collet exaggerated is like that and your router bit essentially is holding on to the, the collet just like that, now you've got this open space here and that router bit is now free to start doing something like that to get a lot of deflection out of that bit or even wobble in the collet. And when that happens and it's trying to cut, usually what happens is the router bit will break right at the bottom of the collet right there because it actually moved. And it, when it moved, all that stress got put onto this corner point right there and then the whole router bit just snaps. You never do that. You always put the full shank of the router bit all the way into the collet so that when it pulls up into the taper, that collet is gonna grab the entire diameter of that router bit. So we're not fully up in the collet here, about eighth of an inch, but that's okay. We have actually put the router bit into the collet almost all the way. You've got a grind along the bit and you should have about an eighth of an inch between the end of that grind and the top of the collet. And that is the best way to set up your router bit. Just don't try to hang all that bit out like that. 
Let's show you mistake number three. If you feel you're getting value out of this video, then take a minute and give me a thumbs up. And if you have other tips that I am not giving here that you would like to share, put them down in the comments for other viewers to see so that they can learn from what you know. So mistake number three goes like this. You've taken the, the collet and the collet nut off, you've cleaned the sawdust. You installed your new bit and you put it in properly. And then you start to tighten things up. So here is what a lot of creators do. When they put their wrenches on, they will tighten the sucker down and they will white knuckle that collet as hard as they possibly can. And that causes a couple of things. <laughs> Number one is you're starting to put too much stress onto the collet and the shaft of the machine. And you're also setting yourself up to polish the inside of the collet. A collet on the inside does not need to be too shiny because then it starts to lose its grip. So we're gonna loosen this up and I'll show you the right way to do this. <clears throat> Get my wrench on there and I'm going to tighten it down and I'm just giving it a good kind of strong force until it just stops. And I can feel it, it physically stopped. And then we just give it one more little nudge. And that's how you should always tighten your CNC router bits. A collet is a round hole. It's got a round hole and the shaft is round. When you tighten that down, that is the strongest possible clamping force you can get. Just over tightening doesn't work. Cleaning the sawdust out of your collet every time is a standard step during your setups and your bit change. And it's something that people forget a lot. And that's why I've created the CNC router bit setup checklist. This checklist allows you to check everything you're doing every time you're setting your project up or doing a bit change because there are quite a few steps during the setup. And we forget these little steps like the blowing the sawdust out of the collet or setting your Z, which is the number one mistake that people make when they're setting up their project. The CNC project setup checklist is available to you for free. There will be a download link in the description of this video. Also, the proper holding of CNC router bits table is available as a PDF for you as well for free. You can also download this. There is a link in the description and if you order bits, you will get this sticker right here that you can put right on your machine or close to wherever you're doing your CNC work. Mistake number one, make sure you blow the sawdust out of your collet every time you change that router bit. Number two, don't try to get as much reach out of your router bit as you possibly can by sacrificing how much shank you put into the collet when you tighten things down because you're going to break your bit and you're going to ruin your collet. And number three, never white knuckle that collet nut onto the spindle because you're just going to start wearing things out a lot faster. Remember, pull it till it's tight and just a little extra snug and you'll have it. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. If this video is helpful, give me a thumbs up and a comment down below on some suggestions you might have when it comes to installing bits and other mistakes that you have seen or have done. I would love to know that and for those who read the comments, they would certainly get a benefit out of that. And be sure to subscribe to the channel because I've got a ton more videos about CNC just for you. With that, I will catch you in the next video. IDCwoodcraft.com